channel my name is angie be fly and i do videos on motherhood lifestyle and so much more thank you so much for clicking on to this video and please if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe thank you thank you so much for clicking on to this video if it's your first time here karibu sana sana if you're a regular welcome welcome back so guys we're back on the nanny series i know i've slacked a little bit on that but it's because guys it's very hectic to live without a nanny and it's very hectic for me to even record uh during those times when i want to show you guys but we will get back there so let's understand how did i find myself into this hard situation this is was my choice but how how did i come about deciding and deciding to live without a nanny when i'm a working mom eight to five six days a week with a four-year-old toddler who's a school going kid and i'm a single mom how did i decide to live without a nanny stay tuned watch till the end to find out okay so i'm gonna start us off with our first um the first money that I got, I had a day bag when my child was two weeks old because the first two weeks I did not need a nanny because I was living with my cousin. Guys, when I say my cousin has been my co-parenting partner, I mean it. Remember from our labor and delivery story? She was there. Please watch it. I don't know where. <laughs> Please make sure that you watch that video. And um, so for the first two weeks, she was at home. She was assisting. And then after two weeks, I had to, she had to go back to work. So I had to get a day bag. And then... I had a debug and she was really 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 nice she was perfect and she was perfect i wouldn't even say anything anything else she was perfect and then after like two more weeks i moved back to my mom's house and i moved back with them with the same nanny because she was res residing somewhere close to my mom's house so it was even better for her but now that we are closer to her house her son who was like four years old at that time and get a shule and then he'll come to our house and then he's noisy he's jumping all over i have no issue with that but my issue was i have a little child who's not even six weeks old yet he's not even gotten his first job he's just an infant a newborn and i was not comfortable with the child coming so i told the nanny politely i told her i'm not comfortable with the son coming over after school because as I, I don't want to expose my son to so much i know new moms not how and everyone is really paranoid uh when you have a new mom when you have a new baby and you're a first time mom you get so i don't know how she took it because the following day she just came back and gave me the key to our gate and she told me you know what i'll not be able to work here anymore and i was like it's okay like it's okay like it's not the same nini. Uh, like i tried to ask her come and name kosea she was like i was like it's okay so my mom is like the mc of that i actually kinda so she got someone else to come into the same day so i interviewed this lady and she was to start the job the following day i told her working time is from seven to around five up because i was still at home on my maternity leave <sighs> guys first day at work this chick came at 10 10 a.m anyway i did not fast so much because i mean i mean i'm just at home and there's no much work now she came at 10 and the first thing that she did guys was sit on the couch took out her earphones peko masikio and asked the music nimekuja kazi um okay so i told her you know what um kuna vyombo maybe you can just go wash unazosha vyombo kwanza na at least wash nyumba enjoy kaisa fiki dogo she was like kai hazijaoshwa kai nyumba hata nyumba iko imeoshwa i'm like um nani alikuwa washa <laughs> anyway, i didn't tell her that so she went and did laundry, uh, not laundry, dishes and the house only. Then she came and sat down again. And then she asked me, Okay, movie gani kwenye mbaki mila fena kwa watch movies na konga addict. Uko kazi, madam, sikio kwanza. Anyway, I told her I don't have any movies. Kana mea, kai, lisa dia wati password ya wifi heni yake nini YouTube. Uko mea kasi na password. So, it got to around 3 this is day one guys at 3 p.m okay remember she came at 10 at 3 she told me okay okay it's my first day to leave my child alone can i please just go look at her i was like it's okay it's your first day i understand you may be anxious just go i was like okay, thank you she went i told her make sure that tomorrow you come early because we are supposed to go for the clinic and you know guys it's six week clinic at the gym and by a clinic so me i needed someone to assist me you get like i'm just a new mom I, like I couldn't go to the clinic alone so just told her just come and then we'll go to the clinic so make sure you come here by seven it was like okay sour she came at 10 bad do guys 10 so you were like late late and i'm spending the clinic because i didn't like the cues 
but it's okay you don't pass <laughs> so we went to the clinic and then came back we came back at around 2 p.m at around 3 hajafanya kitu guys hajafanya at all in because we just gotten back and of course she's gonna sit and start put your phones in her ears and start listening to music at three, she told me, I can no more like you for Nesanda Hosi. I can ask you to buy Nesanda Hospital. In a scan, come on, I was like, It's okay, you can go. <laughs> so, when mom, when my mom now came in the evening from work and I told her what had happened the last two days, she was like, You know what? Tell her not to come back tomorrow. Like, who you to see him to Nesa trust. Like, if you feel your gut feeling in a quambia, um, and a quangusha anytime. And that's how I felt actually. So um, I just sent her 1K and told her, you know what? Um, I don't think I want to learn at the moment. <laughs> and so please just take your time. She was like, Kai, kuhi nyama kukosea. I'm like, apana, ni mama tu. Nisikuwe na house girl for now. Kwa zibalo niko nyumbani. Kwa zibalo niko nyumbani. Kwa zibalo niko nyumbani. Kwa But guys, she had not done. The only thing that she had done in that house was washing the utensils and the house day one only. Nothing else. Um... So we got another one. As I told you guys, my mom and I know what. So we got another one. This one was a bit older. Wait, she was not actually. She was more experienced, not older, because she was like my age mate. But um, she was more experienced. This one was perfect. Perfect, guys. Alinilisha, Alinilisa. Ndeku leo mtoto like she was perfect. She was the perfect nanny. Alinilisa ndeku leo mtoto vizuri. She was feeding me. She was in kabali kwa nilia pia mimi. Like she helped me now get used to this motherhood thing and all. She was just perfect. Now the issue came is the issue came when I went back to work. Now we stayed with her from six weeks to three months and one week when I went back to work. When I went back to work, guys, because now she was used to living at around five. Ikifika five. And no one is at home at that time because personally I was leaving the office at five. My mom, my mom was leaving, we would get home around six, five thirty earliest. So if it's five PM and no one is at home, Aki, and I'll come to neighbor, kwa neighbor, and then she'll go home. This is a three month old baby. As much as my neighbors were really good, they were really, really nice. They loved my baby, but si poa. You get like I yapana like uko kazi ni ngoje ni fike ata mimi si nimetoka kazi ni kuna traffic kitambo ni toke kileleshwa all the way to our home there's a lot of traffic like how am i supposed to get here ni toke job have na koni ni mimi ni okay but to fly like ni siwezi fly from 5 to 5 five office then in the next one minute i'm in the house you know so i felt like it was not working and we just had to let her go then we got, now we decided let's not do day bags because day bags, hey, about to angusha. Because first of all, coming in late in the morning and they are in the evening, to attack to come up, such things. So we found it so inconvenient and decided we're just gonna get a live in. So we got a live in. And she was, guy, actually, there, I've been so blessed to have nice nannies. No, this one was perfect. She was good with my baby, like sana, sana, sana. So you can imagine from three months. To, I think when my baby was one year and like three months AV. So we stayed with her for like a whole year. She was Kazia Nyumba, she was good in cooking, she was good uh with uh, the baby, she was good house as in she was all rounded, she was any okay, okay, she was young, but she was perfect. But <laughs> and she went and got married, guys. And that's how we lost her. So now when we lo when she left, I did not, I actually like, quit my job and said, you know what, I'm just going to bring up my child. So I quit my job and stayed at home. But then after that, I decided to, after some time, after like three, four months, maybe, I said, hey, you know what, I am getting into, my mental health was not perfect because I staying at home with no money. I, it's not a job. So I decided, let me just go back to work. And um, I had to get another nanny. So hey, kabata mwingine guys. This one, this one was a uh, we were related ish, distant. She was a manga was say aki alikuwa roka anenda kutembe. Aja mshoto kama melala because my child used to sleep for like three hours during the day. So, we used to take three hour naps. So can you imagine my child is taking three naps, three hour naps, and then this lady would leave the house anenda mzururo sijua pi. And then she'll come back before the baby wake up, which is very risky because you cannot leave a child alone in the house. And you may funga. It is very, very, very risky. So we just had to let her go, cause guys, as much as she was really good at feeding my child, guy, kukula, eh, na yalikuwa na pia vizuri. Like, 
she she will she will feel. so at some point we used to tolerate her because she was very good with the baby but how's working this is the mina uh, but with the baby she was perfect because i couldn't feed ah, ah, ah. she was perfect but now when it came when when i learned about these stories of her living the baby in the house ah you cannot compromise on that by the way ah you cannot so just had to let her go after that we got another one who we also stayed with for a long time and then she also got married way and then now the last one that we had aki tulikanae until when covid happened she her name was grace aki she was nice me nilikuwa uh, nampenda and then my baby loved her so much so much so much and then uh, when covid happened we let her go and and then when things became better we called her back and she came imagine but she was really really nice and she worked with us until now she decided to join college and as much as okay by the way, i felt you say you you only really feel kabisa because grace was perfect with us grace was perfect for kyle and he was perfect for us i felt like she he she was a part of our family we even had a birthday party for her as in she we had just absorbed her into our life and then all of a sudden too amanda should but you know how is fungi am too journey okay so we let her go so guys now after grace aki when grace left by the guys i'm not gonna lie i cried because kwanza she left when i was sick and i felt so bad because she was like part of our family and we didn't think she was gonna leave but she had given us the notice but we just thought she was not serious but it's okay aki but it's okay you know you cannot fungia someone from their journey so we just let her go and then now after grace now that's when she does ilikuja we got three nannies in the in a span of Let's say I think it was in a span of in a span of 5 weeks we got three nannies. The first one <laughs> we were brought kumbe it was a from one kid kumefunga shule. So when she when I came and I was doing the interviews for her she was from Meru. She met I mean from one tumefunga for holidays. Morning first uh, nyumbani we cannot we cannot employ an underage kid. Then we got another one from Nakuru. She came and she was manga alikuwa na mka ana kwa barabara cuz we live in a village village setup ana kwa barabara kusimama na wanaume kama kama haja haja prepare mtoto like the baby is not awake so she will first follow up and ana kwa barabara mastery mastery na watu huko um and then now i'll prepare my, my son i'll prepare him kutoka na tunaenda and then i'll leave her and then i'll get news that she doesn't even she see she doesn't stay in the house she's always mzurai and all she said with us for one week rudi kwenu so within that one week i was preparing my son okay in the morning and then joni my mom would pick him up now after that one, we got another one this one was we, we were like ah huyu ni machua ni mtu anapenda mungu so you say something about her you are like a stereotype but guys she came with her own bluetooth speaker and she would play secular music loud blast music volume 120 and guys in this house don't even listen to secular music not at cause of anything but basically because of the uh, artists kizangi to you get like it's not us that's not us you'll not find us playing secular music i mean as kizanga secular but you'll not find us playing secular music loudly in the house if you are listening skiza kwa earphones zako you get but this one was playing loud music guys and then she would be okay mkosoa anaanza kulia she would search and answer ndaenda saa hizi ukimwambia hujosha nyumba anakasirika ah by the way to like ah acha ende hata kwa mtu wako na makasiriko she would get angry like all the time all the... so you know, you know the people are always angry she was that type when you were like i meet a sim person na mtoto wangu my gut feeling said this is mote mtoto wangu anaza hata mgonga coffee because alikuwa na katumbo kuna maasira we So she would get like really really angry. So you know to all the like all the time you, you are not even you don't even talk to them because you are like afraid of what they gonna react. Like you cannot even tell her at you cannot even tell her something like um on door and wash of your body. Like you cannot tell her anything basically because at kasirika and you, when she gets angry she will not eat. She will not talk to anybody. She will just be she will not even do anything at ashina to amejifungia. So ah You know we were like ah by the way we're not about to leave these personalities again like the last five weeks i've been doing everything for my son in the morning right i wake up i prepare because i've been preparing him at the try not to train them you know because you know you have to train someone how to pre- how you prepare your son how how the morning routine is you know you have to teach them because now we had had three nannies in five weeks and none of them had stayed so like 
nimekuwa niki train two for five weeks right and by, by me training it's by, by, by me doing those things in the morning so I was like I've been doing this why can't I just be continue doing it and my mom in the evening atakuwa atakuwa mtoto wangu wanakuja naye jioni and if you're going if we need someone to come and do the laundry we just pay mama fua right because even for supper we used to cook our own foods anyway because this the nice that we got in the last uh no since grace actually we had been cooking our own food because grace didn't know how to cook okay she knew but she did not really in hanga pika foods kama stew maybe muhammed wa boil mchele or apiki ugali like zile vitu zenye hazina formula ya kupika you get so we had been we had gotten used to cooking our own supper cooking our own meals so the only thing that we needed help with was a tea preparing kyle in the morning and in the evening but we have we had found a way we we had adjusted in how i was preparing him and my mom my mom takes him in the evening so you were like you know what we don't need house girl anymore this child is big to cave guys it's been four months and it's been it's been okay we have adjusted as much as sometimes i'm fatigued because <laughs> you know I'm working I'm working 8 to 5 I have to come home the evening routine with the guys is crazy I've been trying to record but our evening routine is crazy I'm going to try and record this for the next episode but it's crazy or I, but in the morning and during the day we are fine so we we are just because you now in the morning I prepare I showed the, I showed you guys how we do it in the morning if you haven't watched that video I'll link it up somewhere here and then now in the evening my mom picks him from school Mona kuja naye and again I said guys we live in a village setup so in our homestead there is my auntie there is my shosho in the other side of the road there are my other aunties and uncles and my other small small cousins like we wouldn't call her someone who was going to live not live who was going to take care of my child in the evening before I get home from from work So guys that's how we found ourselves in this situation and I'm going to really try try and record our evening routine which is crazy now that's that's the only part that's crazy and also that I don't have much time for myself because now you see um I cannot like fully achieve give my mom all the responsibility in the evening so like I have to go to come home when I get from work I, like I don't stop anywhere I just come poof direct kwa nyumba on weekends i uh, will show you that some other time I, i will try guys it's not easy it's not it's not easy it's it needs you to be fully dedicated into this motherhood thing it needs someone who is really focused on being a parent and your your mind is set on to like you know you will not have time for yourself so inafa uko umejitolea tu uko tu ready be prepared that you not have time for yourself and you're going to be tired like 24/7 but it's okay the child is growing every day you know like the way he was yesterday is not the way he is today i mean you can even see i'm sitting here recording this video and he has not come in and he's he's not he's not sleeping he's actually somewhere just watching something or playing or whatever he's doing i don't know what he's doing so um it gets easier i think as you get used to it and also the child is growing anyway So yeah so I will keep updating you guys you will see we will manage but the thing is 10 years guys tukao tunashangaa why did you even need a nanny but guys if you see me somewhere on the streets buy me ice cream because it's crazy living without someone to help you but I thank God for my mom she has been a pillar she has been helping me with raising him um that's why I'm able to live with Tanani because at least I have someone else that I'm living with cuz I still live with my mom. If I was living alone, I of course I could not. So if you're there and you're living alone, <laughs> don't try this at home. Don't. It's is hard, it's hard, okay? So thank you guys for watching up to this point. Next week I'll try and record our evening routine. So help me God and pray for me guys. <laughs> please if you even subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. I need those numbers to go up. Please. Please. Thank you guys. We are almost at 200. We are almost. I told you we are going to celebrate it and every milestone. We are almost at 200. Please don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe and to watch this video and please don't forget to like, comment and share. Until next time. Bye.